for everyone that's tuning into me out there, you gotta keep your eyes on me. You gotta keep your eyes on me because I'm gonna blow up one day. I'm gonna blow sky high like a rocket, and people ain't, ain't gonna expect this next. My next moves coming up, bro, because God's gonna bless my YouTube channel. He's gonna bless it and make it skyrocket and be the best thing in the world, bro. You gotta understand. But nowadays, you gotta understand. Nowadays, it's all about survival. You really gotta. Get this in your mind. It's it's about survival, bro. Life's really about survival. It's not about going out here, having fun, doing all this stuff with all these friends and doing all this extra stuff. I'm telling you, people, this is what this is what people think, bro. They think life's just an easy walk and, you know what I mean? Like, not, no, there ain't going to be no, like, st stubs in the curb and stuff like this. But I, I can tell, I, but I can tell you, bro, I've been through so, such hard times from young, bro. I've been through hard times. When I mean about hard times, bro, you... Bro, you've never hit rock bottom, I'm telling you. When you hit rock bottom and you have no one around you to come help you, that's when you really start to deep life and start to deep life to the point where it's like... Bro, it's like the Hunger Games out here, I'm telling you. Out here in this world, it's like the Hunger Games, bro. It's like, whoever's the best will survive, I'm telling you. It's about survival out here. And this is why I tell you to focus on yourself and put yourself first, because... People can switch up on you at any time. The same friends that you call your friends, giving them all your business, telling them all this stuff about your life, personal business and stuff like this, will be the same people to turn their back on you and go tell other people about you, what you told them, your business. And I'm telling you, bro, this is how life really is, bro. It's crazy. We're in the Matrix, bro. We're in the Matrix! We're in the Matrix and you need to understand that. That's what I need to get some of you to understand. We're in the Matrix. And this is why I want a lot of you to wake up to society and just the mind games that they play to manipulate all these people out here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right at, the, at this point on my semen retention journey, but I can see through everything. You know what I mean? I can see through people, everything. And this is why it gets kind of hard to bring people around you. At, you know what I mean? At, when you're like high up on your spiritual path because you, you'll be aware of what kind of lifestyle these people are coming from and how these people are doing, you know what I mean? Like, what kind of vibration are these people on? You know what I mean? How do they move? You know what I mean, bro? This is this is what we got we got to think about before we actually bring people into our lives because we put in so much self improvement work, so much self improvement work, and so much work into our lives to the point where we don't want parasites to fuck it up, bro. I'm telling you, people are here like parasites, bro. As soon as they get into your business, they just want to crush it, bro. They want to crush it and bring it back down. And this is why I tell you to stay on your own path and. Just stick to yourself if you're looking for something bigger, bro. Because people won't, people won't be there to support you. They won't support you. Your own friends, family, people all around you, they'll never support your business or whatever you're doing to uplift yourself. This is why I tell you to just keep the focus always on yourself because you won't have to put the attention nowhere else and you won't be wasting no time. You've got to understand, bro. The more attention you put on yourself anyway, the more these people will pay attention to you, bro. And yeah, I'm telling you, bro, you just want to get your money right. You want to get your money right to the point where you can sit back and relax and have fun. That's what you want to do, bro. You want to have some money out here. People might say might say you don't need money. Money, this is money. Money's bad and money's this. I, money's not bad, bro. Money only gets bad when bad people use it. You know what I mean? That's when money gets bad, bro. But yeah, I'm telling you, you need money out here because... There will be situations in life where, say like you moved out your mum's house, say you moved out your mum, your parents' house, and you go out on your own house, and you got to pay bills now. Now you get to the point where you're paying bills. So you're paying bills now, and it, say, say if you're working a nine to five, you're working a nine to five at like a shitty supermarket or some shit, go there, you work hard, and you, one day you get fired, or you get fired. You get fired and you got to pay your bills at the end of the month. They're like, yep, we want this amount of money and you can't pay it, bro. What are you going to do? That's what I mean, bro. This is why you got you got to get your shit right before you go homeless, bro. I'm telling you. All these guys out here partying and the thing is, all the people at my age, that are my age in their 20s, just going out here partying, hanging about with all these friends, just doing everything just to... 
fit in. Literally, everyone's doing everything to fit in nowadays, bro. Every, everyone's doing everything to fit in. And this is what I don't want you to do, bro. You, I don't want you to be a people pleaser and try fitting with people out here because... People are like parasites, but I'm telling you. You need to... You really need to diagnose and really sit down and think about how most people work out here. Most people are just about themselves and what they can benefit off you. I'm telling you, this is how most people work. They just want to see how they can benefit off you, literally. And this is why I tell you to not just give your hand out to people out here and be a helping hand to everyone, you know what I mean? Especially for us chosen ones because we have good hearts, bro, you know what I mean? Be careful who you give your energy out to you because most time these people won't reciprocate the same thing that you're doing for them, you know what I mean? And this is what you got to watch out for, people that don't reciprocate things for you. Say you do something, say you drive somewhere, say you, say, say you drive a friend all the way, like 20 miles away, go drive him. And then you ask him for the same favour back and he's like, oh no, I can't do that. That's when you notice you cut ties with someone, bro. Literally. Just ask yourself, what are, just ask yourself, what are people really doing for you in your life, bro? And yeah. I'm telling you, this is why I'm this is why I'm focusing so hard on myself from now. I'm putting my, that self work in and that hard work in from now, from young. So when I get older, I know I can kick back and kick my feet up and live life stress free. You you guys going out here partying and doing all this extra stuff every day, chasing females, you're gonna hit you're gonna hit some bricks when you're like twenty when you get out when you get to like the late years and you're I'll say about thirty bro, you're gonna really hit you're gonna hit it, but I'm telling you, you might be having fun through your twenties going doing all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then when you hit your thirties, bro, you're gonna be in that mindset of, wow, I just wasted my whole twenties partying. I don't even know myself. I don't have no money in my pocket. I'm still living in my mum's house and I got no plans and ambitions. That's the realization people come to you when they when they graduate to their older years, bro. And it's sad, bro. It's sad. This is gonna be most people's cases nowadays because they just think life's just one game. You know what I mean? They think it's one game to the point where they can just be chasing females all day. You know what I mean? Spending all their money on. Things that ain't gonna get them nowhere, you know what I mean? This is what people are doing nowadays and they're not thinking about their future. I'm telling you, bro, think about your future because you don't wanna be in a pit of suffering when you come to realization of it's a big world out there. I'm telling you, it's a big world out there, bro. And people don't care about you, bro. I'm telling you, people do not care about you. So this is why I tell you to care about yourself and put yourself first and make sure you get you make yourself something because if people had their way, bro, they'll put their nail on their coffin for you. You know what I mean, bro? They, you're laying the coffin and they'll nail it for you. They'll be like, oh, let me nail that. Oh, you know what I mean, bro? I'm telling you, bro. Don't think people are just going to help you out here. And you know what I mean, bro? Make sure. I hope I'm encouraging someone, bro, because I came from a place where I didn't have shit, bro. You know what I mean? I didn't have nothing. And see my attention showed me the way. And I've just progressed so much in this journey. And this is why I'm helping a lot of other people out there that are coming from positions that I came from, you know what I mean? Are struggling, going through struggles in their life. Because I've been through all of it, you know what I mean? Shit, man. I can tell you the most stories. But... It's good to... It's good to come from a place of... Where you didn't have nothing, bro. It's good to come from a place where you didn't have anything, because... It will teach you a lot. It'll teach you a lot from when you do get stuff, bro. When you start to do get stuff, you'll appreciate it, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, bro. Nowadays, you just want to put most of that attention on you and stop putting your attention elsewhere. I'm telling you, bro. If you put your attention elsewhere and all of this uh, extra stuff out here, you're only going to get yourself drained, used, and abused. I'm telling you, bro. People will use you up like a... Like a dishcloth, bro. They'll use you up, bro. Until you're dry. And then kick you to the curb. I'm telling you, bro, people in this matrix are 
a lot of people, as I said, bro, a lot of people in this matrix are pr plugged into the system. They're plugged into the system to the point where they're just running by it, bro. Literally, they're, they're, they're like, pro they're programmed so much to the point where it's all like, whatever the system's, like, whatever the system puts out in their face, they just follow it, bro. Say, like, oh, go get the jab, or, oh, go. What else? Like, oh, oh, go and. You know what I mean, bro? Everyone's just plugged up to the system, bro. This is why I tell you, like, oh, go party in the 20s. Yeah, keep partying your life away and then fuck your life up for the rest of your life when you do that, bro. I'm telling you. This is what the Matrix wants you to do. It wants you to go about, go party, go waste all this time with all your friends. Oh, yeah, we're having a good time. Oh, and then them same friends that you're with before. Well, um, won't even be there in the future, bro. And you'll just be going through hardships on your own. Crying, I'm telling you. You don't want to be in that position. It's a cold. It's the cold reality too. But I'm telling you, it's the cold reality. If you're gonna, if you're really gonna be out here nowadays, not thinking about your future, bro, you got another thing coming your way because it won't be good for you. I'm telling you, bro. I, bro, I had to think about my future and how I'm gonna make. You know what I mean? I had to. You, you have to think about your future because. You you will just end up in a place of just hurt hurt, bro. I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, survival here, survival. Always think that at the back of your mind. It's like it's like the Hunger Games, bro. I'm telling you, you gotta be the best of the best out here, and really just be great. But stay tuned for more content, and I'm out. Peace.